when Steven Van Zandt auditioned for the role of Tony Soprano, HBO felt that the role should go to an experienced actor, so David Chase wrote a new part for him. This part became the role of Silvio Dante. When Steven Van Zandt was working on the character of Silvio Dante, he had an idea that his character being Tony Soprano's his best friend, would be the only guy on the show that did not want to be the boss, the one who was always watching Tony's back. Steven used his relationship with Bruce Springsteen, to try to understand the dynamics that happen between a soldier and a leader. Silvio Dante dream was to be a professional singer, but this dream never materialized. David Chase was such a big fan of Bruce Springsteen, that he booked Steven's time for shooting Sopranos, in between Springsteen Band's tour schedule. Silvio's Al Pacino impressions were a constant source of amusement for the crew and he fancies himself a player in the entertainment world. He dresses carefully and has an encyclopedic mind for movies. While he ran a strip club called Badabing, Silvio was also a strong father figure for his teenage daughter, Heather, whom he called the Principessa. Real-life husband and wife Steven Van Zandt and Maureen Van Zandt, played Silvio and Gabriella Dante. In season one, Silvio's wife was played by a different actress. While playing the part of Silvio, Stephen wore a wig. The creators of The Sopranos wanted to make it appear obvious that Silvio was wearing a wig. When Stephen Van Zandt landed the role of Silvio, his character suits were made by Taylor, who dressed some of the most famous underworld figures. In the last episodes of the show, Silvio survives an assassination attempt, but is in a coma. We are made to understand that he actually dies in the end.